We're going to do a meditation for becoming centered and grounded after shock. I'm going to begin by sealing the energy field with a protective coating so that we can relax completely inside of the protective safety net. Using this titanium aura quartz, I paint a sealant coat on the energy field. little bit above the actual energy field because I do want to be able to work on the outer layers and I'm doing the clearing and this is like putting a bell of white light or a bell of violet light over your energy field to protect you. Starting with basic prep again. Sweeping the field. Including the soles of the feet. Let's move up our crystal a little. This is a good time to be letting your breathing come slower and deeper, becoming more relaxed. Now we'll be opening the chakras, beginning at the root. Turning the stone so that I can open the crown chakra. And all the chakras are now harmonizing with each other. I think we'll begin with a nervous system detox using the seraphonite sphere and this blue uvite. And this is blue uvite in mica, rather special material. And to detox the nervous system, I do this movement. Clear the energy field of the overstimulation to the nervous system.
Serafinite and Uvite both have a very good affinity with the nervous system. Very helpful to both the brain and all the nerves. beginning to feel clearer and less jumpy and agitated. And just allow the breathing to change and deepen and slow down as we're doing this. Ooh. I was able to take a nice deep breath as the nervous system calms. Good, and continuing with the soothing of the nervous system, I'm going to use the seraphonite, this is my active point here, to soothe the energy field again. If I had a physical body here, I would actually place the stone in contact with the physical body to do the infusion. But as long as I get really close and into that first layer of the energy field, this is going to work just as well. Very, very soothing seraphonite energy. Seraphonite's actually Cleaner Claw, that's the official name that we all know and love this material by the name of Seraphonite. feels very smooth and harmonious. Smooth and harmonious. Wonderful. Next we're going to drain stress off the energy system using these Faden crystals. It's a matched pair. Normally we'd put them on the big toes, but we don't have big toes. So we place them at the base of the crystal and just allow the stress to drain off the energy system. And you want to think of this as you're breathing, of allowing the stress to simply drain out your feet. And as the stress drains out of your feet, it transforms into white light. And just allow ourselves to breathe as this process does itself. Channels are opening, the energy system is relaxing, allowing a flow through to the feet, and through that flow the stress drains off the energy system. When we get a shock, our sympathetic nervous system takes over and we go into fright, flight and fight mode. 
when we want to relax, we need to let the parasympathetic nervous system counteract the sympathetic nervous system so that we can relax again. And that's under the auspices of the vagus nerve. And so we're going to switch from stress to relax by getting the vagus nerve to switch back on again and get our parasympathetic nervous system quelling the fright, flight, fight mode. Start at the liver and do a little gridding. And scratching and digging. And this is because the liver is the organ that has to metabolize all the stress hormones. So if we boost the liver, we will get a good effect. Stimulate the liver with the Shanghai spheres. And stimulate the whole system with the Shanghai. And it's a good idea to keep on breathing slowly and deeply as we're doing this. By looking at the crystal, I can see that energy is brightening. And it's good to visualize this for yourself, that your energy is brightening and lightening. And you're building up an inner glow of strong and positive energy. Excellent. Then, take my aquamarine slice and work the crown chakra. I'm actually going to lift this so I can get a very, very full effect. Wow. I really feel the nervous system relaxing. So this is for the brain, getting the brain to calm and function, trying to switch back into central nervous system functioning rather than be in fright, flight and fight mode. Wonderful. And now the brain has been suffused with this aquamarine energy. And I can start to bring the aquamarine energy along the cranial nerves, shining the aquamarine into the cranial nerves, and down the center line into the vagus nerve, where it joins in the solar plexus. 
energy into the solar plexus area where the vagus nerve is several times. That's the one side and then the other. soles of the feet. soothing. I'm going to do the whole energy system, shining the aquamarine, soothing, calming energy, switching over from stressed to relaxed, by triggering the vagus nerve, and asking the vagus nerve to tell parasympathetic nervous system to calm the sympathetic nervous system, bringing us out of stressed fright, fight, flight mode. And when we're stressed, our emotions can get out of balance, so we'll do a little bit of emotional balancing to make our bodies much more comfortable and much more inhabitable and a much more pleasant place to be. Because when we're stressed and when we're in fright, flight, fight mode, our energy bodies tend to pull away from our physical bodies. And that is what causes us to be uncentered and ungrounded. And in order to be centered and grounded again, we want to make our physical body more comfortable and invite our energy body back in. And we want our energy body to fit into our physical body like a hand in a glove. And we don't want the energy body to be beside our physical body. And that's exactly how we describe it. We say, I'm beside myself when we're feeling disoriented and upset. And it is because literally our energy body has moved over to the side and isn't centered and isn't grounded. But now, with this bustamite, we're clearing some emotional upheaval and smoothing it out following with this beautiful orange calcite heart, smoothing out that emotional upset and creating a harmonious and comfortable feeling in our physical body again. Very helpful. that the physical body is more inviting and more habitable for the energy body. We can invite the energy body to go back in right inside the boundaries of the physical body. And to do that I'm going to use this aquamarine tube. It's a hollow tube. A hollow is in there. And then this other aquamarine crystal and I'm literally going to push the energy body in through the hollow tube 
back into the physical body, starting here at the feet. This gentle pulsing movement encourages the energy body to go back inside the boundaries of the physical body so that we can become centered and grounded. Excellent. So now we can do the next step, which is to rock the energy body inside the physical body so that it can settle in really nicely. And to do that, we're going to use some carnelian here. Heliodor here. This way. And here that's Heliodor's yellow barrel, and this is Kunzite. Excellent. And then I take my metamorphosis cord sphere and I use my hand and I'm going to literally rock the energy body to settle beautifully and centeredly inside the physical body from left to right, head to toe and back to front. And this is how to become grounded and centered again after shock understand that in when we receive a shock, our energy body separates a little from the physical body, it moves outside of the boundaries, maybe out of our feet, and wherever the energy body is moving away from, that area will not be properly energized. The energy body is the battery of the physical body. We want those battery points to meet exactly and connect so that we can truly fire on all cylinders. I cannot even explain how well this is working. It's the most beautiful, strong, palpable feeling of connection. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Really centering and grounding. That's excellent. Wonderful. Now, complete little energy generating. I just generate energy to pump up the entire energy system, get it feeling strong and resilient. Wonderful. Mm, that's good. And as we're doing this, Imagine a very strong, glowing white light building all through you so that all of your physical body and all of your energy system is pulsating and glowing and emanating white light.
Excellent. As a final blessing, I'm going to use this angel aura quartz to grid the energy field. surround the crystal all these beautiful stones that we have available granite action there Sphere. A little bit in this bustamite that did such a great job. A ruby in zoocyte action. Chakra stone at the feet for grounding. Use the golden healer quartz. Yeah, this one and this one. And a little ruby in there. for one more little stone here seal the deal a little kunzite action in there there we go a beautiful blessing upon us